Give him adoration. Magnify the Lord. The Lord is good. Praise him. Praise him for his goodness, for his mercies, for his loving kindness. From January to December, 365 days, praise ye the name of the Lord for his goodness, for his loving kindness. Magnify him. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Psalm 118 verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Do you believe that? That is the experience for every one of us, because it is by his goodness that we are alive today. It is by the goodness of the Lord that we are here today, the last day of the year. Some people started the year, but they are not able to see this last day of it. It is not because we are wiser. It is not because we are better in the context of the ability to keep ourselves. It is God, the Almighty, that has kept us. We need to worship the Lord, giving glory, giving praise. The Lord is good. The Lord is gracious. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Praise him, praise him. Praise him for his goodness that endureth forever. Praise him for his goodness that endure forever. Our God is good all the time. He is worthy of all our praises. Appreciate him for his goodness all through the days of the year that is passing by. In Jesus' name we pray. I read to you from Psalm 135, from verse 1 to verse 3. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Verse 2 says, Psalm 135, verse 2, Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, and we are standing in the house of the Lord right now, in the courts of the house of our God. Verse 3, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. Amen. You see the same thing in Psalm 136, reading from verse 1. Psalm 136, verse 1, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Verse 2. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. And then in verse 3, oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. Verse 4. To him that, to him alone, that doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. He does wonders and he is deserving all our praises. Let's give him glory, give him praise, give him thanks. Give him glory, give him praise, give him thanks. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Magnify him. Praise ye the Lord. Praise his holy name. Our God is good. He is the creator of heaven and earth. He is worthy of all our praises. Worship and adore him. Give him glory, give him praise. The Lord our God is good. The Lord our God is worthy of all our praises. He is worthy of all honor. He is worthy of all adoration. He is worthy of all thanksgiving. He is worthy. 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 Worthy to be praised. Give him glory. Let's praise him. Appreciate him for all his goodness over us. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's magnify the Lord for his protection over us, over our families, all through this year, from January through to this time. Last year, you know about the pandemic, and it's still over to this year. And now this year, they talk about another variant of uh, Omicron, now in the midst of it all, whatever it is called, COVID-19, Delta, Omicron, whichever one, the Lord preserved you and I. The Lord protected you and I. Let's lift up our voices and glorify the Lord. Praise him. Praise him for his protection. Praise him for his good hands upon us. Worship and adore him. Magnify his name. No doubt the Lord is good to us. Give him glory. 
Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Praise him for preserving us alive. In the midst of all the pandemic, and in the midst of all the terror and insecurity, banditry, kidnapping, the Lord shielded, defended, protected us. Let's give him glory. Give him glory. Give him praise. Our God is good. He's worthy of all our praises. Our God is great. He's worthy of all honor and adoration. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Give God the honor. Give God the adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Another thing to praise God for is his daily load of benefits. Psalm 68, verse 19. Psalm 68, verse 19. He says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us. Psalm 68, you see there, verse 19. He daily loaded us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. He's been daily providing for us, loading us with benefits. And that's why we are alive today. We are not starving. We are having provision and supply from his hand. Taking good care of us. He's been our supply. He's been our shepherd. He's been our provider. Let's glorify and praise the name of the Lord. Praise him for his daily provision, for his daily load of benefits. He's been supplying all our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Magnify the Lord. Magnify his name. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Our God is good. He's worthy of all our praises. He's worthy of all honor. He's worthy of all thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. The year 2021 witnessed a new dimension in the outreaches, in the ministration of our Father and the Lord, in the ministry outreaches of this church. This year witnessed global, global, global. And with the global crusades, we have global blessing, global salvation, global healing, global deliverance, global testimonies. Let's give God the glory and praises for how the Lord has used his servant, our Father in the Lord, our GS, to minister globally salvation to multitudes of people all over the nations, healing, deliverance, bountiful supply, blessing, and great, great, wonderful miracles. Even the dead who are raised back to life. Let's worship the Lord, glorify the Lord. The blind saw, the deaf heard, the lame walked, and the dead raised back to life. Give God the glory. Give God the praise for the new dimension, the higher dimension, the global dimension of the ministration of the word of God. Worldwide, the power went forth through the ministration of the word of God. Many were saved. Many were healed. Many were delivered. Worship the Lord. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. We need to be appreciative, brethren. Let's lift up our voices. We need to appreciate God for the great things that he has done. The great things that our God has done. The great things is he has made us to witness. Give him the glory. Give him the praises. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Give God the glory and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. A louder amen. Psalm 107, verse 20. Psalm 107, verse 20. Something to worship God. Something to praise God for. 
He says in Psalm 107, verse 20, He sent His word and healed them. How many of us are partakers of the healing? You receive. Let me see your hand up. Praise the Lord. He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. He healed us. He delivers us from our destructions. He sent his word to the various nations in the various continents. He healed them. He delivered them from their destruction. Lift up your voice. Worship the Lord. Give God the glory. Through his servant, through our general superintendents, the word was sent. The word of healing, the word of salvation, the word, the word of deliverance was sent. And many were saved. Many were healed. Many were delivered. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. The Lord is good. Our God is glorious. Our God is gracious. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. He has done for us. Has he done it for you? What nobody else could do. Worship him. Give him glory. Rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done me well, O oh my soul. Rise up and praise the Amen. Tell your soul to rise up and praise the Lord. Tell your soul, my soul, forget not the goodness of the Lord. Forget not the benefits of the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise ye the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise ye the Lord, O oh my soul. He has done me well. There will be great, great demonstration of your power in my life. Bless me anew. Bless me anew. Prepare me for greater, greater service and consecration and commitment as well as blessing. Lord, use me. Prepare me for your service in 2022 and use me to your glory and prepare me for your blessing as well. Pray for yourself. Commit yourself to the hands of the Lord. That the Lord will prepare you Prepare your family to serve him more and to enjoy more and more of his blessing. More and more of the blessing of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We are starting the year with a global program for the youth and our father and the lord and others will be used of the lord to minister and the program impact